XP family, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> um, not super glamorous, but this is where we're going to be doing all of our cooking demos. So what I wanted to do was start this thing called Meal Prep Mondays. Yes, I know today is Wednesday and you're having a delicious meal, but we're going to backtrack it for two days and still get you going for the rest of the week with Meal Prep Mondays. So I just wanted to show you how really quick and easy and simple it is to get yourself prepped for a couple of days or even the night before prep yourself for the next day. Um, what I did already in my kitchen was cook up some chicken. I just bought some chicken. I left the skin on because I'm not going to have any other fat with my meal. Um, I seasoned it, just took some aluminum foil, put it in a pan, put a little olive oil in there with a spray, not the actual oil because I don't want too much fat, too much healthy fat anyways. And then I just took some garlic salt and just regular all around seasoning and made a nice cozy layer on top of my chicken. So in the last five minutes of cooking it at 350 degrees, I broil it to make the skin nice and crispy. Um, so I already have that done. So here's my chicken. I did two pieces for the day. Um, so hopefully it'll be kind of a mid-morning snack and possibly my lunch and then I'll come home for dinner. Um, this is something that you can buy in the store and any Ralphs or Vons or Costco or Whole Foods, anything like this will have something like this. I got this from, I think, Vons or Ralphs. Um, it's the organic spring mix. Usually I mix it up, I get a little spinach and I get a little bit of mix. This whole tub is $5. Usually I tear through this in a couple days because I like to make sure I'm getting enough fiber for my greens. Um, so what I did is I took this. I made a nice bed in my glass container. I cooked up my zucchinis and squash, sliced them up, put a little, little tiny spray of olive oil on the pan and again seasoned them. You can do them raw, but you don't have to. So I have this and I'll be keeping this in a separate container because I don't like my greens to get soggy or wilty. Um, I'm also supplying myself with something to munch on. So these are little snap peas. They're great if you want to dip them into hummus or just gnaw on them by themselves. It's a nice little snack. And what I really like about them is that there's a crunch factor because sometimes when we're eating very clean, we kind of miss that crunchiness <laughs> of the really bad fried foods. Then I also have a bag. And yes, this is my um, little French bulldog. So we used to have a French bulldog at the gym named Belle. So that's in honor of her. Anyways, back on track. This is a big bag, usually about $5 as well, of sweet mini peppers. They are tiny little peppers, but they're sweeter than the regular peppers. So don't be intimidated by this. It's a great snack. I just put them in a little Ziploc bag and carry them around with me in my lunchbox. Um, so there you go. You basically have a bed of greens. I have my protein, I definitely have my vegetables and fiber, and I have my two little snacks. So we're all set. So as you can see, this was super quick and easy. The only thing that took a little bit of time was maybe 30 minutes to cook the chicken. I bake it at 350 degrees, usually for about 25-30 minutes. And then the zucchini literally took less than five minutes to grill up. And like I said, you can gnaw on it raw. Um, it's a great snack too. So as you can see, I'm all set for the rest of the day. I'll probably come home and have dinner, maybe balance it out with some fish, a little bit of a leaner protein, and maybe add a little bit of cheese to that to get my fat. Um, salmon is a fatty fish, but it's healthy omega-3s. So we'll be doing it just right. Okay, hope that helped. Hope you can follow my rules and have a good meal prep Monday, even though it's Wednesday. So we'll be following up with another meal prep Monday this coming Monday. So have a great week to your health. Bye, guys.